Which one? I'm going to be honest. Which one? Me and my homies, like, I, I think this was even trending on I TikTok. I can't wait. Yo, he said, did you, I don't know if you ever watched the interview with it. He said he started a car battery with his hands. I said, if I seen her eyes light up, I'm like, Jesus Christ, she, he could do no wrong. Hey, she believes everything. Listen. You did not please start no car battery with your bare hands. Me. If I didn't, may God murder my children. I don't even, I hate that I even spoke about that. If I didn't, may God murder my children. No, don't say that. Please, yeah. kill them today. Right now, today. And, and to be honest with you, I just put my hands over the battery and prayed, Lord, please let this woman batter restore. On a physics level, that's impossible. On a physics level, human beings emit electricity. Our bodies are electric. Not enough to start. You a ever touch somebody and shocked them? Yes, I've gotten okay, static so shock. So what, what you was doing? You was emitting yes electricity. But that listen, I took chemistry. That th that is so minuscule to compare to what you need to start a car. Okay. This happened. Okay, it didn't happen. Then I was lying. I just felt like I'm gonna make up this gonna this gonna make all the women give me the pussy <laughs> if I say I started a car battery. <laughs> I'd have been shot in my face, head, all that shit, all of the gangster shit. You know, I could tell somebody, you know, I could tell somebody that shit that would wild them and amaze them, but nah, I started a car. Let me hold on. Let me think of what I could say today. I started a car battery. I was writing down the things. I'm like, yo, this hey, is why Kevin gets all brother, the chicks. Big brother. It's if the it car did. story and the feather. That's what it is. Big it's the, the feather? Oh, hey, my the, God. The feather fire. Nah, the feather's fire. <laughs> like, I was about to check to see if the feather was real. Is it synthetic? It's real. It's synthetic, right? These what are these that? are illegal to have. These are federally protected birds. One of them Ain't is no bird got no goddamn like like like, like pattern like that. What bird is that? Which one? Like oh that's these eagle? they don't eagle. No, this, these feathers you never saw these before because they come from a nighthawk. A nighthawk. These, these hawks. It's a hawk, but it come out at nighttime. And I was blessed to be able to be gifted with these. And my eagle feather way yet come in my mind. My eagle feather right here. This come from a golden eagle. I was gifted this by a chief. Is that like some Native American stuff? Yes, sir. Put me on game. Seriously. What you want to know? Kevin, if you don't realize, I, I, I look up to you in a certain sense. I feel like you're living life Thank good. You. And I And when we speak. Living life better. Well, I think you're growing. Yes, sir. And I think you're learning everything. I'm on day. my journey. And I think sometimes, you know, I talked to you out there while we're taking a picture. I said, like, I want to get into traveling, but, you know, I'm, I'm caught in the hustle and bustle of just trying to make it and get it every day that I, I need to step back. And I love the and fact that you the have roses. So, Please. so when I speak to you, I like uh, part of my curiosity well, the, and entry. OK, the, the eagle feather is symbolic of the whole It's the bravest, holiest, strongest path you could take in life. And. That's like when you offer me um, what you offer me out there. I won't. I mean, I don't want to. It's a little alcohol. I can say, okay, well, I'm not about to drink alcohol with this eagle feather in my head because it keep me conscious. And even though this eagle feather is very, very strong, I can't be playing on my phone and all that. I got to be present in a moment because it's very strong, but it's also very delicate and very fragile. I didn't eat anything or drink anything for four days. And I was gifted this feather after my initiation. And it was just beautiful. I would die for this feather right now today. It means so much to me. It's symbolic of my journey. Is that like some ayahuasca type stuff? You ever heard about ayahuasca? I know about ayahuasca. I just don't like that word. I like to call it madre ayahuasca. What? The mother. That's the holy divine feminine spirit, ayahuasca. The abuelita spirit is holy, very sacred. Again, I feel it's remedial asking you. So break it down to me. Like I, I have I ever, have I ever experienced? Yeah, I have. I'm in a medicine. My tribe is a medicine tribe. So you you, you have a tribe that's associated that you're associated with. Like I'm in a tribe. I'm a chief. Really? Yes, sir. How does one become? It was beautiful. I mean. I was born, they say all chiefs are born chiefs. But the thing with me was, this is something that I ran from. I didn't want the responsibility of looking out for others. A chief not, no, just walk around, let's go to war. No, a chief gonna see what you need 
And as being a chief, if I see what you need, I'm going to aid and assist you. I'm going to look over the whole tribe. It may be something that somebody got dealing with emotionally. I'm going to aid and assist them with that. It may be something somebody dealing with mentally or psychologically. I'm going to aid and assist them with that. When you a chief, it's a very, it's a responsibility that, that, that supersedes all. Because you have to look out for your tribe. 